Hey guys, I'm Scored App Reviews, and sorry for the terrible lighting right now, but I forgot to put this in before. Welcome to the first episode of Showdown from M Square App Reviews. It's basically a comparative show where I rate things out of 10 on four different categories, and I give you a winner. Of course, I do recommend all the products basically in the video because I do not like to review second-rate products. So enjoy the first episode of Showdown. Now I'll be rating these on four different categories, and the categories being sound, function, style, and durability. I will rate them out of 10, and I will use decimals at points, and I will average out the scores, and that will be your final score for the product. To get into this, the IPVOs receive a 9 out of 10 for sound because of the earpiece right here. Although it's over the ear, it is very safe compared to the in-ear earphones because the sound doesn't go directly into your ear, it doesn't distract you as much or any of those negative side effects. The sound gets a little bit muffled because it doesn't go directly into your ear, but it does make up for it with how loud it goes, which can make it sound a little better sometimes. Function, they get a 9.3 out of 10 because this cord looks generally generic, but if you look at its features right here, it has a little microphone, you probably can't see that hole from the distance, but it has a microphone right there. And if you press it once, it plays or pauses your music or hangs up a call or accepts a call depending on what you're doing. It can also skip tracks if you double click it. And over here on this section, which I am currently getting, it has a volume trigger which just goes up and down with the move of your finger. I feel like you're going to have more though because I've used Sennheiser headphones which have had everything on them, but these are very good for earphones and 9.3 is a very good score. For style, I'm going to give these an 8.1 out of 10 because although I do like the green and the black and the IPVO logo sported here and the design of the circular area right here, the ear clip just doesn't fit my style. You may have a different opinion, but that's what I'm giving these earphones for style. Uh, there's nothing much more to add to that fact or that rating, so that's what I'm giving them. For durabilities, I'm going to give these a 9.4 out of 10 because I've dropped them a few times, I admit that, but they haven't broken, and the only thing I can think of that might happen, which is why it receives a 9.4, is because this earpiece seems kind of flimsy. It, it's very durable and, uh, and flexible, so it can fit around your ear, but I'm not sure how it would go in extreme circumstances. One thing more is that these will cost you $29.97 at the IPVO online store. The final score is a 35.8, and when you divide that by the four categories, you get an 8.95, which is a relatively good score. I'd say anything above a 7 is a good score. These are the ThinkSound TSO2 and microphone earphones in the silver cherry color. Now to get right into this pair, I'm going to give it a 9.3 for sound because it has a great balance of bass and tremolo. I've used these a lot and they just have a great overall sound. I can't say they have a relatively strong bass or treble because the balance is almost as perfect as it can get for some earphones. For function, I'm going to give it a 9.2. Now, remember I gave the IPVO ones a 9.3. Right here, you will have just a microphone on this cylinder, and on the other side, it will have a button, which you probably cannot see. It is right there, and you can just press it down once for play or pause to accept or deny a call slash hang up, and you can also go and skip tracks. I'm sorry for bringing that out of your screen for a moment. For style, I will give these a 9 out of 10 because I personally like the silver wood back and the metal strip in the middle and the kind of whitish, neonish, silverish bud cover in the front. I hope you could see all that. I am trying to get it in the frame for you. And for durability, I'm going to give these a 9.1. Because I've already lost these buds a million times. I, I found them, of course, but also in the durability section, I will base it off how easily the earbud covers come off or whatever the material is made out of will come apart or come off, along with how they react based on being dropped. 
The overall score is a 36.6 divided by the four categories gives it a 9.15. Congratulations, Think Sound. Also, to confront the bud loss that you can get with these, you can also have replacement buds that come with it in different sizes. These will cost you around $89.99 in US dollars and I generally think they are worth it. These are the Wicked Empire Bones Earphones by Wicked Audio, which is a branch of Empire Brands. I have several earphones from Empire Brands in this video today, just for your information. So I've done a previous review on this. If you want to see it, you can go click right there. And if you want to just continue watching this, this will be rated off the four categories I have made for this specific video. I wanted to include these because I feel like they're a great competitor for all the rest of the earphones that are going to be in here. I'm going to give them a 9.4 for sound because they have a very good balance of bass and treble. And they do have a little more bass than treble, but that is understandable. They still create quite an enjoyable experience. For function, unfortunately, I have to give them a 6.5. This is because they're just regular earphones. They don't have anything on them like the other ones did, but they have great sound, as I said before. For style, these get an 8.9 because besides just being regular black buds with no features, they have these little skulls on them, as you can see right there. If you watch the other review first, you know that I lost one of them, which is why it only has one skull left, which is why durability receives an 8.9 because along with the buds possibility falling off, which is very unlikely with these because I've had lots of experience with them, these skulls do tend to fall off and I've seen other people agree with that as well. I believe these will cost you $15.50 according to Amazon who says they are sold by Empire. The final score is 33.7. Divided by the four categories gives it an 8.425. These are the Skull Candy inked earphones in light green. Unfortunately for sound, I have to give them a 7.5 because there's a way uneven balance of bass and treble. There's lots of treble and no bass whatsoever. For functions, I have to give them a 6.5 as well as I did with the Wicked Audio Bones. They have no features besides being able to play music. I'm going to give them an 8.7 because they have these nice buds and they have a le relatively nice design of the bud and the cord, but it's just not as much as you would expect from a good set of earphones or higher quality in this case. Durability, I give them an 8.2 because I have lost the bud and not be able to find it. It, uh, it fell off pretty easily just in my pocket one day and never saw it ever again. I believe this will cost you $10 as they did for me. And they do come with a couple sets of buds but the packaging doesn't allow them to stay in there and creates a high probability that you'll lose those as well. Their final score is unfortunately a 30.9. Divided by the four categories gives it a 7.725. As I said before, anything above a 7 is relatively good, but this is comparatively low. Now these are the Wicked Audio Jawbreakers by the same company that made the Bones earphones. Uh, something cool about the packaging I just want to share is that it has a Velcro tab, which allows it to open up and give you a preview of what's in it, including the three different sizes of buds and the earphones themselves. So, to get right into it, uh, these can have anywhere from an 8.5 to a 9.1 in sound quality, depending on how you like your music. Now, as the box describes, Caution Extreme Bass, these have a very good bass sound quality. The treble is not as strong as it is in the Skull Candies, but it is less powerful than the bass, which is why it depends on how you want to listen to your music. And these can be an 8.5 to a 9.1. I've had a very enjoyable experience with these, which is why I will give them the benefit of the doubt score of a 9.1. Function, unfortunately, these get a 6.5 as well. You can only listen to music, but once again, great sound. I recommend them still. Style gets an 8.7 actually, because 
they're basically white buds with a silver strip with the Wicked Audio logo on the back of them. It's probably too small for you to see at the moment. But also, gra engraved in the back, right here, is the L and the R for left and right ears. For durability, I give these a 9.4 because I haven't lost the buds even once. Uh, they stay in my ears great, so less chance of losing the buds. And I've dropped them multiple times, unfortunately. Partially as a test, and they have survived, and nothing is wrong with them still. These will cost you $14.50 according to Amazon.com, as I'm not able to find the price on Empire Brand's website itself. The overall score is a 33.7 divided by the four categories as described before gives them an 8.425 which I have to say is a very good score because I'm being very critical on these. Next up we have the standard Apple earphones. I know what you're thinking, these are terrible sometimes and sometimes they're your favorites. But my rating is for sound an 8.9 because for standard headphones slash earphones that come with your iPod or iPhone, they do produce a good quality sound. For function, there is a range of scores going from 7 to an 8.9 out of 10. This is because on these specific earphones that came with a third generation iPod Touch, there is only a microphone. But if you look at the standard earphones these days with the new iPod Touch and the new iPhone, you will see that it comes with a variety of features that would lead me to give it an 8.9 out of 10. For style, these get a 7 because they're just bland, that's it. I don't think I need to explain any further. For durability, these get an 8.4 because although they are pretty good earphones for standard generic ones, they, the rubber and the bud do fall apart and I've gone through about three pairs of these being relatively light on them and you might have a preference of these but I've had a much better experience ever since I started using external company earphones. I will give these the benefit of the doubt score for the function which is an 8.9 by the way. The final score is an 33.2 divided by the four categories gives them an 8.3. This brand right here is pure sound as it says on the box. It is another branch of Empire Brands Incorporated which made the Wicked Audio earphones as you saw before. To get right into it, I'm going to give them a 9.2 for sound because they have a very good balance once again. Uh, Wicked Empire and Empire Brands Inc. just seem to have really good balance. So. They have a full sound as well, I feel like I'm wearing headphones rather than in-ear earphones. So they receive a 9.2. For function, they get a 7.2. Although they don't have any extra functions on the cord as previous pairs did, they do feature a nylon sport cord, which is actually better because it gets tangled less often. Of course, they will tangle up as earphones do but it will come undone more easily. For style, I will give these an 8.9 because they do feature a very modern look of a silver and black earphone with a relatively good looking and well-fitting bud. This is the real bud and this one is one I replaced it with because I lost the bud on the first day I used them. Also for style, the cord contributes to it because it is a very nice feeling cord and it also has a nice looking texture to it. For durability, they get a 9.2 because I did lose one of the buds in the first day I used them, but they did stay together relatively well and they did not break from dropping them on a hard floor. So that's why they deserve a 9.2 in my opinion. The final score is a 34.5 divided by the four categories gives it an 8.625 which is a relatively good score especially considering how critical I've been throughout the video. One more thing before I end this section, uh, I would like you to all go to Wicked Audio on Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, you, can, you should follow them and you can become a fan of them. They sent me the products I have from them 
for free for review purposes, which included the Pure Audios right here, the Wicked Audio Jawbreakers, and the Wicked Audio Bone Earphones. I have another set of headphones from them that will be in a future review, but for now, remember, go on their Facebook and Twitter, uh, Wicked Audio, and become a fan, follow them, and also check out SquaredUp.TK for a written review of the Pure Audio and the Jawbreaker earphones. A link to their website, their Facebook, and their Twitter, and our website, SquaredUp.TK, will all be in the description below. So I have rounded the scores to the nearest tenth. And here are your contestants. Here are the iPeeble ones, which received a 9.0 out of 10. Here are the ThinkSound TSO2s, which received a 9.2 out of 10. Here are the Wicked Audio Bones, which received an 8.3 out of 10. The Apple Standard Earphones received an 8.4 out of 10. The Wicked Audio Jawbreakers, they receive an 8.4 out of 10 as well. The Skull Candy Earphones receive a 7.6 out of 10. And the Pure Audio 800s receive an 8.6 out of 10. Which makes your winner the Think Sound TSO2 Silver Cherry and Microphone Earphones, which will cost you $89.99 in the United States. Thank you for watching the first episode of Showdown. Remember to subscribe, comment, and like. We appreciate it all. Uh, make sure to stand by for more great reviews. In 2011, we will be cranking out a lot more. Thank you to Empire Brands Incorporated for sending us one, two, three pairs of earphones for this video. I'd like to thank iPebo as well. I am late on my deadlines for the review, so I am very glad to get this out finally, and as well, thank you to ThinkSound for sending out these. Uh, once again, the Apple ones came standard with a third generation iPod Touch, and these I bought myself. Once again, thank you, and remember to subscribe, comment, and like. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Showdown.